but George, the wide receivers is where things really get interesting for Green Bay. Uh, there have been some comments, of course, from Aaron Rodgers about how he's confident in some of these uh, wide receivers. Then we heard some opposite comments where those guys need to get it going. So, uh, you know, I, I'm kind of up in the air here with some of these players. But what I know is at the end of the season, if Aaron Rodgers throws between 30 and 35 touchdowns, there's a wide receiver in fantasy football on this team that's going too low. And that person is Alan Lazard, right? He's probably the one where you said if he's throwing 30 to 35 or anything above that, uh, someone had a breakout year here. Uh, he, we know he likes Lazard, right? He said it for several years now. He likes Lazard, so it would have to be that guy. The problem is this. Lazard is not a number one NFL wide receiver. At least anybody's anywhere near the definition of an NFL number one wide receiver, which means he's going to have a hard time against the number one cornerback. That's what he's going to be up against a lot. You know, defensive pass call defense is going to be – geared really to stop him what do they feel he's uh, the threat he is so he's going to see that extra attention uh, paid paid to him now don't get me wrong defense is going to really pay attention to stopping dylan stopping aaron jones in the running game which is really weird to say right they want to force aaron Rodgers to throw weird but i think that's what they're going to do, going to go do here because they're not afraid of lazard watkins cobb watson amari rogers uh romeo the Dukes, Dows, however you pronounce his last name. Uh, they're not afraid of this. They're just not. Someone's going to have to step up. If you're asking me who I think that person could be, I think, once again, according to your parameters, and he gets 30-plus touchdowns, it is Lazard. After that, you want to throw some mud against the wall and take Christian Watson? You know, you want to go take Watkins? Good luck. I've been down that road many times before. You know, fool me once, you know, shame on you. Fool me two, three, ten times, shame on me. I ain't going there. You know, but I don't mind any of those guys. But, Craig, I think also, outside of Lazard, Watkins, Cobb, Watson, these are going to be the first guys you release once those bye weeks hit and you need to, you know, fill a bye week replacement. Uh, I got Watkins. He's not doing anything. Fine. Let's get rid of him to get that, you know, full string wide receiver on another team when he's playing that week. 